Hello, you guys. Welcome to Journey with Char. Yes, that's a little bit of the Pioneer Woman haul that's coming up soon. I wanted to show you, Mom and I are going out this evening. And we just got these in the mail. And I'm going to put these on. So you're going to see these with me on my face. So stay tuned. All right. Okay, you guys. So I made it in the car. And this is what everything looks like. <laughs> she look a hot mess. But anyway. Mom and I have not been out in a long time since last Friday we went to um, Costco and I'm going to put a video up soon. It's probably already have gone up by the time you've seen this one. But uh, yeah, we have not been out all week. So we're headed up here to Walmart with Joshua. So I ordered these on Amazon. I saw somebody with it the other day and it just looks like it was awesome. And so it's real easy. It stays on your forehead pretty good you might want to put it up where it doesn't run and bump into your neck down here she is trying to be safe we got our gloves on we have all of our equipment y'all know we got our lights on we got our oh my God. hand wipes i mean our hand sanitizer mom what you got the um i don't have my gloves on yet oh she doesn't have her gloves on yet and uh, we have not been out in the in store, so don't say, don't touch your face. We haven't touched anything yet. No. And uh, where's the uh, wet wipes? And we have our wet wipes. And y'all, we about to go up here. There we go. Got our handy wet wipes here. Nice and ready to go. And we're gonna go up here real quick, get everything we need, and we're coming out. So you guys stay tuned for more of a journey with Shar as we head to Walmart, Target, and where else? I think that's it. Y'all just take a try with me. All right. Let's go see what's in Wally Mart. So we're staying six feet behind. We got our stuff headed out of Walmart. I'm at Ralph's and I need to get me some enchilada sauce, y'all. So let's see. Which one? I think I'm going to get this. I need to get another one. Three quarter nine organic, so I'm going to get that one. I'm looking for some olives, y'all. We are just looking everywhere. And can I find these olives nowhere? Let me find these olives, y'all, so we can get out of this store. All right, stay tuned. All right, you guys, so we're leaving Ralph's. I go in and get a little at a time because Josh has been shopping a lot this week. Y'all, it is a lot of people in there. And uh, I like to go in and go out. People are coming out more in the evening. But at least they got their mask and stuff on, so. Oh, how I wish I could just walk right on in here and say hello <laughs> to all the cupcakes and the cookies. Hi, Susie. Hi. She says, her sign says baking soon on the door. You guys can't see it, but. Hi, Susie. <laughs> so this is the new Amazon Prime store. It was supposed to open a while ago but amazon is delivering i cannot wait they will not let us see what that looks like in the inside if you guys have one in your area let us know how this is i am excited about that let's see what's in the dollar tree you guys really really quick it's not that many people in there so let's shoot for it they got a full house of stuff though let's see what they got in here go really pretty really good try that look at that a lot of corn. A tequila chip. Oh, love yes, here I come. Okay, you guys, they got a funnel cake. I think I'm gonna get two more funnel cakes. For the summer, fun. I think this coffee is supposed to be really good. Cafe more. Okay. Oh, they have some nice all here. See, this is why it's important to come. Clean up toilet, honey. Look at this lifestyle channel. Two of them, yes indeed. Oh, supply. Look at that. Oh my God, look at that. You think she's not gonna get it? I just bought some of these at Walmart. I'm gonna get these little ones. Cause they are just good to have. This is scope. Okay. I'm gonna grab a scope. You cannot go to sleep on the Dollar Tree store. They got pads in here. These are cute for the kitties. Then they have this beach sign, that beach sign, tablecloth, and all of this summer stuff. 
Looks like some people have already been in here. Picked out some stuff. Yeah. That's what they have. Ooh, that teal is pretty. And then this. Oh, this is pretty. Isn't that pretty? Can't pick it up and touch it because I'm not buying it. Isn't that pretty? See, this is dangerous. And I'm not going to touch that. You hear me? Wow. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. And so I told you, looking for some swiffer. So this is where we are. Okay. Ma, this swiffer, we may have it. Y'all, look at the show. It's done. It's done. Close these Okay. So they filled this up the other day. This was completely empty, y'all. Let's see. See if we see anything disinfected. No. Whatever was there is all gone. Oh, yes. Mine, you got a big one. So good. Yeah. But whatever was on this owl is gone. <laughs> y'all, look at this. is like a ghost town. What is this? Dude, oh, that's Windex. Alright. What y'all? I'm so excited. I've been looking for the King Arthur. Everywhere and we found King Arthur flower. Yay! Did you see that gold belly? I just got this from the 99. From the Dollar Tree, y'all. Look how much it costs. I just picked it up. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. And it goes out the same. This goes out in 2020. May till 2020. Our mind is even... All the way, it's even older. Oh wow, that was a good buy. I don't need no candy, but geez Louise. 30% off, you can tell people to not come into the store. Look at all this candy, y'all. If you want little Easter baskets for me for next year. Oh my yeah. God, if I had some grandbabies. Yeah. I swear I would. Y'all, look at this. This is like is it Easter just it. started. Look at that. Wow. Oh, this one was so cute. Yes. <laughs> they were cute. Mom, look at the truck. Yeah, I have to tell I'm done. Y'all see that? It says $4.50 for this one. This was $20. Let's see the price. Y'all, $6. She coming home with me. <laughs> she hit the jackpot. See how much these two are. They are so cute. What? I cannot believe that I scored store some of that Easter stuff, you guys. So anyway, we are done. We did our little bit of shopping, a little bit of things that we needed to get. The rest of my ingredients for my chicken and lock enchiladas. We are done. But I'm so glad. I cannot believe the signs. You guys saw how low that those prices were. That sign was like 20 something dollars and I got it for six bucks. That was pretty good, y'all. And those little um, Easter egg little shaped things, I got those for $1.50 each. Amazing. I love good deals. All right, you guys, so here we go with a haul. And and I'm gonna go over everything here. This is from three different stores. Yes, we did. We had to go to three different stores. I'm gonna start off by showing you this sign that was regular $20. And we got it for six bucks. Look at that in excellent condition. And it was the last one. I, I'm the type I like to go down to 90 if I can, but when I saw that it was the last one, I said no. So it is just the cutest. It's on both sides decorated for Easter and spring. 70% 70 70 off, I cannot believe it. And we're gonna start with the Target stuff since I'm even doing that. You guys, these were $3 each, I got them for $1.50. I love the color to these. They had other ones that had sayings in them, but when I saw these, I just thought that they were so pretty and classic and just the color, that bone color and the bunny, it just was so pretty and the leaves, I just loved it. So I got four of these for a dollar and 50, you guys, I could not believe it. That's what it looks like, you guys. And these were 150 each. They are absolutely adorable and they're like ceramic. I believe these are ceramic, but these are cute little candy dishes. Very, very cute. Another thing I got 
This was on sale and I think I got this for 71 cents. Not gonna make this anytime soon, but it's always good, especially nowadays, if you wanna make something fun on a Sunday, honey. You can cut the time and make this cake. And I think this is by February 13, 21st. So I have more than enough time to make this strawberry cake. So we got this for 70 cents. Joshua got a degree tonight from um, Target. Um, also got this big old antibacterial. We have been looking for this everywhere. This is palm olive antibacterial and it's the big one so I'm really happy mommy saw this tonight and it was like four more left so that was pretty pretty cool and the next thing we got from Target tonight I'm going to be making like I said some enchiladas so I'm even looking to see if I'm going to add a little chipotle chili peppers in there and I got this from um Target tonight as well just to have extra because I'm supposed to be doing beef and chicken separate times, not at the same time, okay? Then the next thing I got from Target, you guys, this sign. You guys, look at the excellent condition. This cute little egg reef is in. You can put this in the centerpiece of the table. You can hang this in your house, on a door, wherever you want. It's just so pretty, isn't it? Absolutely love it. Next thing you guys we have here, I could not find, I don't know if you heard me say it over and over again, how I could not find bread flour. I have a surprise coming up soon and I am so excited to share this with you guys and I needed bread flour. So I'm so happy that I got this bread flour. It's King Arthur and it's my favorite brand of bread flour to use. So I'm very happy that I was able to get this King Arthur bread flour. I couldn't even find it on um, um, their website. I looked everywhere. It's not on Amazon anywhere, you guys. And I think that's everything we got from Target. Now, let me move to Ralph's Grocery. Joshua got some Captain Crunch. He's a Captain Cruncher. He got another one. And I got some, when we do exercise, and we've been going walking in the morning, just a little bit. You don't drink this whole thing, but just a little bit. These were just a dollar. And this is good just for dehydration, even though I drink majority water. I really do, guys. But I love the mango flavor and um, got the fruit punch. So I got three of those. Bought this salad dressing cheese fantastico. Um, I heard this was pretty good, so I can't wait. Looks like it's pretty good, y'all. Look at all that. Just shake it up. Mm -hmm. That looked like that's good on a salad. So I bought some of that. And like I said, I got the mango, the mango one. And then I got two olives. I don't need to show you the other one. Reduced sodium because olives can have a lot of sodium. I got some more John Muir fire roasted tomatoes because I'm going to be doing more recipes with that. Um, I got some more enchilada sauce, red enchilada sauce. And yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, it's Muir Glen. I said John Muir. <laughs> it's Muir Glen, child, organic. I'm thinking about John Muir High School. I'm thinking about John Muir High School. And then um, Belastic Red. Velastic um, bread and butter pickles because sometimes you just want pickles and so got these and then um, also got this sourdough bread because this week we're going to do something really fun with that and I just love sourdough bread but now that I have something new I'm excited about I'll tell y'all y'all see soon I'm so excited then I got some ground beef because we just needed some more beef here's the lettuce I bought a lettuce, <laughs> bought a red onion and tomato because we're supposed to be having burgers soon. So red onions, tomatoes. Um, we don't like to get a whole big thing of these, so I got one so that I don't over drink. But I've, I've been craving some soda, so this. And I will share this with mommy. I will not drink that whole thing. She loves root beer, which is one of my favorites as well. We are a root beer family and a quality root beer is what we love. Then we got some brioche buns here because when we make our burgers, I love my favorite bun is the brioche bun. So we got two of those hamburger buns. And then my classic go-to salad kit, y'all. This is my favorite salad kit i just absolutely love the salad dressing in here you can add more greens to this even you can put cranberries and some walnuts oh this salad is just so good by itself or whatever you add to it absolutely love this salad so yes got that 
and that's everything from Ralph's okay you see it's not that big okay now let's go to Walmart oh I'm sorry and then I got the four cheese I got two four cheese this four cheese blend from Kroger or, or Ralph's y'all Kroger maybe in your area absolutely delicious and then I got the Swiss cheese as well all right um now moving to Walmart okay we got another act because I'm just you got to take care of your teeth now, especially you can't get to the dentist. You really do. So that's about my third act, I think, this week. Then we bought another one of these, and I have one coming on the way in the mail. But I saw this. This is the black. We don't have this one, huh, Mommy? Black currant mm. oak orchid? Mm. Oh, y'all, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. So we got that one. And then every time we go and we see these, I bought three the other day. Saw some more. Mommy bought one tonight. So we love these flushable wipes. Just really good to have with your regular tissue. You need to have some flushable wipes. Oh, love it. Okay. I like to condition my hair. Sometimes I do um, a hot oil treatment and different things. So these are little plastic bags that I will put a conditioner on and put this over my hair and sit under the dryer or just walk around clean up and let my body heat um get the oils i mean get the heat going in my scalp and really conditions my hair so i love these plastic caps been using them all of my life yes got the wet jet i'm so excited here but first let's get to the crest gum so y'all know i told you can't get to the dentist i've been doing this anyway but i'm just like really really cautious now like, because if I feel anything, it'll freak me out if I can't get to the dentist. And I really do take good care of my um, teeth. I have to say that much. So I know I'm not going to feel anything because I'm just crazy. Anyway, so this gum detoxify, I love it. It does deep cleaning in your gums and it whitens your teeth at the same time. And guess what? I saw this, bought this at Walmart and then went to Dollar Tree and saw a little one. So anyway, I have a lot of them right now. So I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, then we got a bounce for mommy. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Yes, I ordered this online. That's why I went to Walmart because I ordered this online because we need a new one, a new Swiffer mop, jet mop, multi surfer jet mopping kit. So I went ahead on and got that because I'm even more freaked out. Like, as soon as somebody comes in, I'm gonna want to clean my floor. I mean, I was doing that anyway, but I'm really like obsessed with it now. Don't call me crazy, whatever. Okay, and then this is just extra um, little absorb pads, wet jet. You can use a solution and then this is just extras 24. Or you can make your own solution and use this whatever you decide to do. But yeah, I got extra of those. And we got a Clorox. Could not believe Mommy found a Clorox in the store. Are you serious? Very happy and was thanking Jesus for this, for all the stuff we had. But we were so happy that we were able to get that. Costco, nobody had it. Okay, so now, last but not least, this is the Dollar Tree run. Listen, don't y'all sleep on those dollar stores. Especially the Dollar Tree and 99 cent store. But the Dollar Tree has really, really picked up on having some really good products you can find some really good stuff in the dollar tree okay so tonight this woman the cashier said you want one of these she said i just took it from a person that wanted to hoard eight of them and it was only four for per customer and she took it from the customer and only gave them i think two and then she split it up with the last two customers that were in line and that was mommy and um me and so we were so happy to get this travel pack from the Dollar Tree. It has all of vitamin E and aloe. It kills germs. It's antibacterial. We are so happy. And it's four extra. It's the extra 40 count. Got that. Remember I told you I was grabbing a toothbrush every chance we can get. Absolutely love the old school reach. This one is a soft. Got to be careful. Don't do too hard because you can start messing with your gums and they start receding. When you brush your teeth too hard and you're using a hard bristle, your gums will recede. Do not do that. So anyway, this is a soft brush and look, it has caps. I'm so happy to have a brush with caps. Y'all may say, girl, we're all into electric child. Listen, during times like this, you got to get things and you got to 
stock up on stuff like that. You never know when you're going to need a toothbrush or a neighbor child. We don't know what's going to happen. We need two brushes. You need two brushes. Okay, remember I told you the gums, cleaning gums? Look at that. Found a whole bunch of them, so I bought three. Too happy about that dollar each. That's what I love about the Dollar Tree. Everything is a dollar. Then I got some scope, just in case I'm freaking out and just need to do a quick swig. There we go. Swig and some scope. My sister, my sweet baby sister, was telling me, girl, you better use those bath bombs to soak your feet when you do your foot um, massage or your foot um, bath. So I said, you know what? She's right. Because now that we can't go to the nail salon, we got to do something with our feet. I grabbed this. And this one is the coconut and rose milk. Doesn't that sound awesome? So I'm not going to use this in bath. I'm going to use this when I soak my feet. Thank you, sis. We've got some more of these because they were hit the other night. Um, hopefully this video will go up before or after. I have a video soon. Either it's up already or it will be up, y'all. These are fantastic. So I could not believe they had them again tonight. So I grabbed those for future, way in the future. This is a known brand coffee. Espresso. One dollar. Huh? Why not? Why not? Huh? Yes. Got that for one dollar. And Lysol. Because we need to clean that toilet, y'all. Yes. Could not believe it. And we weren't greedy. There were others and we left them for other people mm -hmm. to get. And then we have this storage bag. Um, that one is the, um, which size is this one? It's the quart zipper size. You know how we love our storage bags and we got a storage gallon bag. We love bagging, storing, freezing our stuff. This is the time to do that. So this is what's amazing. I went into Target tonight and you're going to see it in the video if you haven't seen it already. Y'all saw how much the cereal costs. $4.99 a box and the one at Target was about to go out next month and it was all it was still on the shelf and it did not say 21 it was 20. this one goes out in november but it's a good belly probiotic peanut butter crunch and i said love peanut butter love cheerio shape anything love a crunch and it's good belly it's healthy healthy and it's probiotic so why not right amazing so i'm really really happy about that that was at the Dollar Tree. That's why I tell you, you can score some good things at the Dollar Tree. We found mommy's clean out the laundry room, washer and dryer, paper towel, y'all. What I mean by that is we don't have the luxury of having a washer and dryer in our apartment. So we share one with the building. But when we go in, we sterilize everything and did it before the COVID-19. Oh, you would have yes. thought the COVID-19 was going on the way we sterilize. You have to. You don't want people's hair and DNA and pets and all that stuff. You don't want that stuff hanging onto your, um, your, um, Laundry. So we clean them out thoroughly. Not saying that it is completely 100%, but child, by the time we finish, it is 99.9% .9 clean. <laughs> Lemon pie saw water and some bleach. Wipe that out really, 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 really good. Get an antibacterial cleaner. Lysol spray, whatever you use. Be careful with the bleach, especially use bleach only if you're using it for the white load. Right. Because you don't want to bleach people's clothes. But yes, and it works. But anyway, these are the towels. Anytime we see 99 cent store towels from 99 cent store Dollar Tree, chow, we grab them because we don't want to use our good paper towel. Our, our, our um, heavy, duty. heavy duty paper towel mm -hmm. on um, laundry stuff and you wasting it. Okay, you guys, so that is everything for tonight. She is tired and I hope everything is going well in your neck of the woods. You guys be blessed. Stay safe. Trust God. There's a lot of people who are so worried and I understand I'm not saying y'all get over it what in the world what is wrong no I completely understand but I have chosen myself to just give it to God there is nothing you can do but pray and give it to God pray and leave it there leave it in his hands put your hands in the hands of the man who steals the water and calms the sea who made this earth he holds it in his hand That's right. he's the one that knows your beginning and your end so whatever your future holds trust God trust Jesus and know that he's gonna take care of you all the way
forever. Trust him. And that's all I have to say because it's, 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 you have to have faith. You have to be motivated. You cannot be negative. You have to be motivated. You have to stay calm. Mm -hmm. You have to trust because if you don't, you'll worry yourself mm -hmm. and worry causes other issues. You can get sick worrying. It calls issues and you don't want that. We have to learn to trust God. God is calling out. Okay. God is calling out. He loves everyone and he wants you to come to him and cry out to him and pour your heart out to him. And he wants you to love his son and accept his son in his heart. And he wants you to repent of your sins. I'm not going to be afraid to say that. Y'all, we don't know what the future holds. But I do know this is not going to be the only epidemic, a pandemic, that this world is going to go through. It's not the first one. It's just the first one our generation has gone through if you're like 60 and on or, or, or 50 and on. My grandmother, 97, has been through some stuff. Mm -hmm. Those older people know they've been through this. Okay? And it was worse because they didn't have the technology and what we have today. Mm -hmm. And they still got through it and moved on with life. We're going to get through this. This too shall pass. But this is not the last. Something else is going to happen. Because this is the way the world is. It's sin in the world. The world is 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 is, is grumbling. <laughs> okay, things happen. That's the way it is. And people may say, "Well, what? Didn't God know this was going to happen?" Mm -hmm. Absolutely, He did. Well, why did God allow this to happen? Why would He do this? God will allow whatever happens in this world. God allows it. And a lot of times, things that are allowed. He has his reasons of why he allows it. But instead, don't be angry with him. Turn to him. Pour your heart out to him. Ask him to come into your heart. Believe in his son, Jesus. Because Easter is not about a bunny. It's about what he did on that cross. And receive him in your heart. Now, a lot of people don't like that. The world does not like that. They never have. They don't like Jesus. They'll talk about God all day, but don't like Jesus. You can't get to God unless you go through Jesus, his son. So it's very important that you look to him in your concerns and your cares and your worries. He is the one that can get you through. We're all not promised. And he did not promise that we were going to have a perfect life. He told us we were going to have trials and tribulations. He told us we were going to go through that, but cheer up. Yes, he is. He overcame the world. He has overcome the world and he loves you and he's here for you. And no matter what, whether you're here on this earth or whether your soul is with him, you're in a good place on the earth with him or with your soul with him. You're in a good place. We have got to, we got so caught up in this world and so caught up in the physical, tangible, what we can touch and see that we forgot about God and his power and his son and his Holy Spirit. We forgot about the word of God and how true it is. That Bible is newer than the news that was, is going to be printed tomorrow. The Bible's, the Bible's word is more up to date than the news that has not even been printed yet for tomorrow. The Bible already said what all this is going to happen. What's happening now? The Bible said that that was going to happen. So you got to get into your word. You got to trust God. You got to surrender and open your heart. It's not easy, especially if you were not raised to trust God. But you know, it's always God has a connection with humanity because he made us. I don't care if a person's evil. They had that one moment where they, I wonder if God is real. If you open your heart and say, I want to see, I want him to come into my heart. Jesus change me. I repent of my sins. Forgive me, please. I'm so sorry. Help me today. I want to be new. I want you to make me new in you. He will. He'll change your heart, but you got to want to do it. And this right here, God knew all of this is going to happen. And those people, people said, well, why would he allow people to die? You're going to die. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's the thing. We all are going to die. If you ever thought about 160 years from now, not one person living today is going to be on this planet 160 years from now. Not one person. Not one person. So it's the thing. That's life. That's the way it is. But the best thing to do to secure your fate is to give yourself to Jesus. Surrender your life to Christ. Open your heart and ask the Lord to come in. And people may say, well, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in all that other stuff. Okay, then that, that I'm not downing you. I pray that one day you will. But they said, well, how do you know that there's a God? How do you know that Jesus is real? Because I know what he's done for me. I know how he's changed my heart. I can only tell you by my experience. And many others can do the same. But it's up to you whether you want to receive but it's up to you on whether if you want to receive it or not. I'm not going to pound you over the head. Like Jesus told his disciples. If they don't want to listen. And then hey. Lead shake the dust off your feet and keep it pushing. He didn't say it exactly like that. But y'all understand what I'm saying. You understand. He wants you to want him. With an open heart. Desire passionately. To want to get to know him. You cannot control your life. I don't care how much money you have in the world, how many assets, education you have, how much, uh, 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 many businesses you own. I don't care. God does not care about that. He cares about you and your soul and you serving him and living for him and that he can bless your life and use you in ways you never even thought you could be used. You may think life is over. Oh, I just did this. I've done too much. Trust me. Let me tell you something. Jesus went to that cross and died for everyone who would believe in him. Everyone has an opportunity on this earth when you repent. Some people have done some of them. You think what you've done, please. And they repent and really mean it. And he blesses them with salvation. He does. People do some crazy stuff in this world. So don't think that your mess that you've done, God won't love you because of your, don't you know he knew what you was doing? He knew what you, he saw you do your mess at the moment in time you was doing your mess. He probably even told you that whisper, don't do that. And you did it anyway. That was God telling you not to do that. We all have made that mistake. But how his grace and his mercy and his love and his passion and his forgiveness and that love that is a love, that agape love. Okay? He loves you no matter what. But he wants you to come to him. Repent. Believe in his son. Salvation. Go to him. Pray. Ask the Lord to come into your heart. Repent of your sins. God is crying out. And there's things. This is not the first thing. This is not the first thing. It's not the last so the best thing to do, no matter what, is just live for the Lord. Live for Jesus. Just do it. It's not easy overnight. It takes time. Pick up that word and do it. Okay, you guys? So I pray. And in this time right now, Psalms 91 is one of the best scriptures to read when you see how God's hand is in control when you trust him and he's in control. That's a good, especially right now. So you could just see that word, that Bible is not fairy tales, y'all. This Bible is not fairy tales. It's not Lord of the Rings. This Bible is real. Everyone in that Bible were not characters. They were real people. Okay? So, trust God. Keep him first in your life. Trust him. Obey his word. And like Charles Stanley always says, one of my favorite pastors, leave all the consequences in his hands. Trust him and obey him. Leave all the consequences in his hands. Okay? You guys be blessed. And I'm praying for you. Stay strong. This too shall pass. I'll see you soon. Trust God. Keep him first. And he'll always lead you in the right direction. God bless. Bye-bye.